Hey YouTube, it's uh, CorvairGuy69 here making a post-Christmas, post-holidays uh, video showing off a couple things I got for the holidays that pertains to this hobby. Um, uh, first of all, I'm going to wish a Merry Christmas, uh, Happy New Year, uh, Kwanzaa, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah. I don't know what you guys celebrate. So happy whatever you celebrate. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get right to what I got. Uh, first, my grandmother picked me up some styrene. Got this as uh, part of a gift, uh, some styrene sheet. That's good, uh, I can continue making these fabulous tubs, which uh, thank you guys for commenting the cereal box idea. I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna take your word for it though. And, uh, let's hope that works out. <laughs> um, she also got me this, which I'm going to do a kit review a little bit later. I'm going to crack it open and show you. I'm just going to show you that I got Badman 55. This, can't wait to build. And, from my parents, I got something that opens up a new hobby line for me, I guess you could say. And... It's in a Ziploc spot, a Ziploc box. Let me see if I can talk first. <laughs> and it comes out to be a 1934 Ford slot car that my dad, one of my dad's friends, found the hobby, started doing it. We went to see him race a couple times, and a guy there let me race one of his cars, and then uh. I ended up getting hooked. My dad got me this car, so let's say that anything I buy and don't use the body is probably going to become one of these. But uh, it's there in the underside. You can see the motor is right there. It's electric, obviously. It's a slot car with pickups right here. This thing supposedly, I'm guessing here, but the. It's got a couple numbers written on it, and I'm going to guess that the times it does in the scale quarter mile at like a uh, second two, second one. That's pretty quick. 1.01, 1.02. It's good. So, uh, going to race this tonight. But, uh, enough with that. This is a model video, and that's not really a model, although it is a model car body. So, back to this. Let's crack this puppy open. Got the fancy exacto knife. And one that way. One more. That way. Plastic, no good. But let's get this cover off real quick. Examine the box. You guys already saw that. Side one. Side two with the paint coating and all that. Side three, similar to side one. And then that one. So, looks pretty cool to me. Whoa. Well, comes with red glass, that's always a good thing. The hood scoop is the clear red. And then. The whole thing's molded in yellow. Interesting. There it is. Nah, no. crack it open for you guys here. Um, I haven't seen too many of you guys building this. I don't think I've seen any. Um, so I mean, it'll be a while till I get to this, but I, I think I might be the first one on YouTube to get it. Yeah. Nah, no, I don't know. But uh. Body seems solid, and I tell you, this is one of the heavier molded model car bodies I have seen, have felt. It's pretty big too. Then we have the interior and hood, and the interior doesn't come with a tunnel, which is quite odd. And then the hood with the hole already cut out. 
I feel like this is gonna be one of those obnoxiously large kits. <laughs> uh, it's got the exhaust molded into the body, which is always fun. You can see it there and there, it's mufflers. And then we got the two classic style racing seats and some engine halves. Um, this motor I'm definitely going to detail a lot. I'd like to try and find a different motor to be honest, but uh, I'll work with what I have. I actually might have a sm uh, 350 somewhere sitting in boxes back there. You can see a couple boxes there. <laughs> Most of those are all unbuilt, so. But, uh, yeah. Um, all this molded in yellow is kind of throwing me off, but there's a bunch of parts. <laughs> Dashboard, rear end, leaf springs, which are flat. <laughs> then, uh, this is, they had to have reused that base and body then, because this isn't making much sense to me. Is that it doesn't even bolt up. This thing comes with headers and this, but it's got the exhaust already molded in. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. Uh, it's, I mean, it's cool and all, but it's got a lot of odd things. So, uh, if that's something, um, if anyone has a 55 Revell base that doesn't have the exhaust molded in, would you be up for a trade for that one? Because I'd rather have the clean thing out. It's... I don't think it's molded where I can get rid... Yeah, I can't get rid of it. Without sawing the whole... Yeah. Trade. If anyone wants one with exhaust molded in and they have one that doesn't, I'll trade you. But, uh, yeah, and then the chrome, which I will open up for you guys to see, if I can get it open. <laughs> here we go. Uh, we got some better leaf springs in here for the front, that's good. Some wheelie bars, some cool, uh, rims. A lot of crow for a trackster. Uh, excuse me. Looks like it's got a pretty good hood scoop too. There are some ups to this kit. <laughs> you got the meats for the back. Kind of hard rubber. And vinyl. And then the fronts, which are surprising, surprisingly large. I guess that's just the gas era, though. I wasn't around then, so... I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> then we've got... Wow. Ravel has really uh, stepped down on their decals. Look at this. Uh, this small sheet of decals. I mean... I suppose it's easy to build them now. you got three decals you put on, but... Not too many options. Um, and then just typical Ravel style instructions. Let me open to a decent page here to show you what it looks like. But, uh, yeah. It's a huge chin spore that goes on the front of this thing. Yeah, I'm not liking the yellow, so I'm probably, when I build it, I'm probably going to paint it maybe white. I haven't done any white kits yet. Well, solid white. I did the uh, number 11 Daryl Waltrip car in white, but it's got decals all over it, making it more green than white. But, uh, that's the only thing I would have that would be solid white, other than the few decals that go on it. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do it in white. That'll be an interesting look, definitely, especially if I use that, uh, 
If I use some perfect match like pearl white or something, give it a interesting twist to a gasser. But uh, yeah, so that's this kit. It's definitely interesting. Um, I feel like that Ravel reused uh, the base and body and stuff for it from a previously issued 55 Chevy kit, possibly. Maybe not the body, but like the frame might be from the convertible 55. I haven't opened that up, so I don't know, so I'm just guessing here. But uh, that's my thought, and I'm not sure if I like that base. Oh well. But that's that. It seems like a pretty decent kit, so um. Oh! Dodge 440. Put that in there. That's That'd be cool. Alright, I'm just talking here. <laughs> so, uh, if you liked the video, hit like. If you didn't, sorry. Um, that's just pretty, that's pretty much all I got that has to do with models. Oh! Oh! I got this for my parents as well. And I've never really thought of doing them until I got them. But... Basically what it is, is it's a kind of like photo etched material. Let me get one out here. It comes in this little fancy envelope. Opens up like that. And then inside is one sheet of metal that is every single part for said vehicle or object. And you pop them out of there and build it snap it together and stuff. It's kind of neat. You bend it and everything, so uh, that'll be something to do one day. But uh, I'll let you guys know how those are. I I don't think I've seen anyone do them on here. Anyone who has them, so. Alright, now this video is getting too long, so I'm going to sign off here real quick. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um... Just stay in touch. Keep watching, hopefully, please. And, um, yeah, hopefully I can get something done this year. Last year wasn't so profitable. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Corey got here, signing out. Peace.